The industry trend we're most excited about as a firm, uh, I would have to say across the U.S. and China broadly, is mobile commerce. Uh, we believe there's a massive shift happening, moving from what used to be physical retail to internet retail and now into mobile. You've got a smartphone audience of over 1.5 billion people worldwide now, and, and we're seeing almost unlimited appetite to purchase goods on their mobile device and, and an enormous opportunity for startup companies in that market um, to, to generate you know, literally billions and billions of dollars of market value in a very short period of time. Always a little wary to, to get that one wrong, but um, you know, I would say a category that we've not invested in that, that certainly has gotten a lot of attention is food delivery. Um, it may or may not be overhyped, I don't know, you know we'll, we'll see in three to five years, but there's a lot of physical infrastructure and, and sort of personnel required to execute that business model, and I guess we as a firm have not been sold that it can generate the kind of high margins that uh, really profitable tech companies generate downstream, so food delivery I'd have to say. Most of the entrepreneurs we back are first-time entrepreneurs. There's a select few, like a Jack Dorsey, who, who's a repeat entrepreneur that we've backed. But for the most part, probably 90, 95% of them are first-time entrepreneurs. I would say a couple things. We look for people that are hungry. Uh, we love people that have come from a you know, first-generation immigrant or a, or a uh, relatively underprivileged background. They're hungry. They're aggressive. Um, they're willing to take big risks and big chances to be successful. Um, obviously high intelligence, high EQ as well as IQ, and the ability to hire talent. You know, one of the things that we found with even first, first generation entrepreneurs is they have an amazing ability to attract really, really solid and high quality talent. My overriding philosophy as an investor, <laughs> back great people. Uh, to your prior question, I think that you know we've been successful over the 15-year history of our firm, just backing amazing people. And even in some cases where the original business idea didn't work out, and they were able to shift into a new market or a new concept for the business and be enormously successful. If you look throughout our 15-year history, the best companies that we've backed from Alibaba Group to Pandora and, and Success Factors have been led by the entrepreneurs who founded the company. So we really have not had much success replacing entrepreneurs and professional CEOs. It's not something we look to do. The trendy pick is Uber, um, and that's probably a pretty good guess. Uh, I think their business model is incredibly innovative and has, has global appeal. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Airbnb. I think that what they're doing in hospitality is very innovative, uh, and I think that the management team has proven they've, they've got the ability to sort of develop that business through a couple of different iterations. So I'd, I'd probably have to say one of those two. Obviously, I wish I was an investor in both. Mm -hmm.